I, I think Solange is, uh, again, different than Beyonce. I see Solange more and more on the business side. Uh, still creative, but in the business side. You know, I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about our family history, our heritage. I'm really good at telling people now. I have a lot of, I don't give a what in my cup. So if I don't feel like it, then I don't feel like it. And um, I have a very sort of different view on that. Hey, what's up, fam? Today we're diving into some seriously juicy Hollywood tea that's been brewing hotter than your morning coffee. I'm here to spill all the deets about the electrifying drama between the Knowles family. And if you thought the Kardashians had the monopoly on headline-worthy scandals, think again. I promise by the end of this video, you'll be gasping for more. Now, we all know Queen Bee, Beyonce, and her family practically ooze fame, lighting up Hollywood like a constellation. But brace yourselves, because if you've been keeping an eagle eye on the grapevine, you'll realize that their family tree isn't without its fair share of drama. In fact, move over Kardashians because there's a new batch of chaos brewing in town. We're talking cheating scandals, messy divorces, baby mama drama, and even an abandoned son. Oh my stars. But what's caught my attention recently is the stormy relationship between Solange and her father, none other than Matthew Knowles himself. Trust me, this saga is more intense than a Hollywood blockbuster. Uh, when you saw Beyonce, Solange, and Jay-Z, and, and the security in the elevator uh, thumping, what was your reaction to that? I, I have to tell you, I laughed so hard. <laughs> Be, I laughed so hard because, you know, if you know Solange, that's Solange. That's Solange. You just never know A what you're gonna cracker. get. Firecracker. Don't know where she get them. So, here's the scoop. Solange and dear old dad Matthew have had their fair share of disagreements. Let's just say they're not exactly seeing eye to eye and there's a ton of baggage to unpack here. Hold on to your popcorn because things are about to get seriously complicated. Now, brace yourselves because this next bit might leave your jaws on the floor. Rumor has it that Matthew might have been spilling some less than flattering stories about Solange to the media. Yikes, right? But hey, let's not spill all the tea just yet. We're just getting started. You won't believe what I dug up, though. Before Solange became the poised and polished woman we know today, she was quite the firecracker as a kid. Trouble seems to be her middle name, but let's not jump to conclusions, fam. Turns out, there's more to the story than meets the eye. So, rewind a bit. Imagine young Solange, a rebellious spirit with a knack for getting into mischief. And while Matthew was busy nurturing a superstar in the making, Queen Bee herself, Solange found herself lost in the shuffle. Beyonce was undoubtedly the apple of her father's eye with her superstar destiny unfolding under his watchful eye. But our girl Solange, not exactly his priority numero uno. Now, hold up, I'm not about to drop the deadbeat dad bomb on Matthew. But let's be real, Solange had to work overtime to earn a smidge of his attention. Talk about a bumpy ride, am I right? Matthew, oh Matthew, you could have handled this better, my man. But don't worry, the story doesn't stop there. Enter Tina Knowles, the real MVP of the family. This fierce mama knew the score and was one step ahead of the game. Kudos to Tina, cause she had Solange's back from the get-go. She wasn't about to let her baby girl spiral into the abyss. Slow clap, anyone? Tina was quick on her feet, making sure Solange got the help she needed pronto. She said, it was tough she was five years younger than Beyonce, and Beyonce was the little superstar in our city. So I took them to counseling so that the counselor could help Beyonce be more sensitive to Solange because she couldn't stand her for a minute when they were little, but it made Beyonce more sensitive to who her sister was and what Solange had to deal with because of her. Can we get a round of applause for this queen? But guess what, y'all? Our girl Solange managed to rise above the chaos and find her own path, and it's all thanks to one incredible woman, her mom, Tina. Seriously, can we give Tina a round of applause for being the real MVP here? While her dad, well, Let's just say his priorities were a bit skewed. Solange found the love and guidance she needed from her mom. Honestly, it's no wonder she shares a stronger bond with her mom than with dear old dad. As Solange spread her wings and grew, her relationship with her father went through its own roller coaster of changes. Let's be real, folks. It wasn't exactly rainbows and sunshine. By the time high school rolled around, Destiny's Child, the powerhouse girl group led by none other than Queen Bee herself, was taking the world by storm. And you know who was in the driver's seat? Yep, Matthew, the manager extraordinaire. Uh, I always wanted Solange to be a member of Destiny's Child. She just never wanted to be one. Now, hold on to your hats, because here comes the twist in the plot. Brace yourselves, because the next part is a total game changer. When Solange hit high school, Matthew, with all his managerial prowess, saw an opportunity. 
He wanted her to join Destiny's Child. But our girl Solange had other plans and she was ready to pay for her own path away from Beyonce's shadow. Can we get some snaps for that fierce independence? And trust me fam, the struggle was real. Solange felt like she was being cast into the mold of another Beyonce and to top it off, the world couldn't help but draw comparisons. But don't you worry, our girl wasn't about to let that define her. She put her emotions into her music, pouring her heart and soul into a powerful track called God Given Name. In that song, she spoke her truth. I'm not becoming expectations, I'm not her and never will be. Two girls, different directions, striving towards the same galaxy. Solange was determined to let her starlight shine on its own, independent and unapologetic. But wait, it gets even juicier, folks. As Solange ventured into the music industry, she was met with a less than welcoming response from her own father. Yep, you heard that right. Remember how Matthew was like a backstage maestro for Beyonce's career orchestrating her rise to stardom? Well, Solange didn't exactly get the same treatment. It's like he was too busy sipping Beyonce's success potion to notice his other talented daughter right there in front of him. Ouch, right? And here's where the tea gets seriously steeped. Solange's career journey wasn't paved with the same support Beyonce received in her early days. Matthew's neglect left Solange feeling like a lone star in a sky full of constellations. Whether it was his bitterness over her Destiny's Child refusal or just a failure to see her potential, we'll never quite know. But one thing's for sure, the lack of support from her own dad took its toll on her music journey. In fact, people have left comments about Solange being the more talented sister, saying stuff like, hot take Solange better than Beyonce, I'm sorry. Solange makes better music than Beyonce, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it, but Solange is infinitely more talented than Beyonce. Girl, hold on to your seats because we're diving deeper into the scandalous waters of the Knowles family drama. Just when you thought the drama couldn't get any spicier, it's time to address the elephant in the room, Matthew Knowles and his knack for spilling the family tea. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all, every family's got its secrets, but Matthew's like the town crier, making sure everyone knows what's what. You see, the Knowles family is all about that secrecy. They'd rather keep their business locked up tighter than a bank vault. But not our dear Matthew. Oh no, he's been known to spill some major beans about the family airing out their dirty laundry like it's no big deal. Remember that jaw-dropping elevator showdown between Solange and Jay-Z? Yep, you know the one, it practically broke the internet. Well, after that happened, Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Solange released a statement saying, the most important thing is that our family has worked through it. Jay and Solange each assume their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in public. They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. They didn't say more than that, but Matthew went on the Wendy show and he spoke about it. Beyonce's a very, very private person though. Uh, when you saw Beyonce, Solange, and Jay-Z and, and the security in the elevator uh, thumping, what was your reaction to that? I, I have to tell you, I laughed so hard. <laughs> Be, I laughed so hard because, you know, if you know Solange, that's Solange. That's Solange. You just never know A what you're gonna cracker. get. Firecracker. Don't know where she get there. Well, guess what? Matthew just had to chime in, making the whole ordeal even more cringeworthy. Talk about a major facepalm moment for Solange. She's all about keeping her personal life under wraps, and Matthew just couldn't resist adding fuel to the fire. No wonder their father-daughter relationship is more complicated than a tangled headphone cord. She revealed in an interview that she had reached out to him saying, to sort out my adolescent and young adult years, there was still so much I needed to know because our relationship was not always very good. It's still very much a work in progress, but I think I have a much clearer idea of the trauma that he experienced and how it felt like it was then generationally passed on to me, both kind of existing in the white spaces as an only and how much that can really shape and mold your experience of the world, race, and identity. Now, let's give credit where it's due. Solange didn't just sit back and let this family drama run its course. Nope, our girl took matters into her own hands and tried to patch things up with her dear old dad. She extended an olive branch, giving Matthew a chance to mend their fractured relationship. But guess what? Lightning struck twice and not in a good way. Remember that whole cheating debacle? Oh, it's a doozy. In 2009, the truth came crashing down like a ton of bricks. Matthew had allegedly been running around town cheating on Tina left and right. Can you even believe it? But wait, it gets even messier. Rumor has it he fathered a child outside of their marriage with a woman named Alexandra Wright. Tina, understandably heartbroken, filed for divorce. But wait, there's more. Matthew didn't learn his lesson because just a short while later, another child out of wedlock. 
Tina had had enough and she finally put her foot down, sealing the deal on that divorce paper. Solange, Beyonce, and Tina, they were all saying bye Felicia to Matthew. You can practically feel the family ties unraveling, right? It's like a storm brewing on the horizon and our girl Solange was right in the thick of it. She was in the process of mending her relationship with her dad, but his actions shattered any chance of that happening. And let me tell you, this wasn't just about a single incident. Oh no, it was a buildup of years of pent up resentment that finally erupted like a volcano. Solange's bond with her father was shattered, and even though time has passed, she's still clutching onto that grudge with an iron grip. Can you blame her though? So here's the million dollar question, fam. Is Solange in the right by holding onto her grudge, keeping her distance from Matthew like a pro? Or should she give dear old dad another shot at redemption, a chance to rebuild that fractured bond? It's a tricky one and I'm dying to hear what you think. So spill the tea down below in the comments. Should she forgive and forget or keep that distance locked in? And there you have it fam. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're as shook by this wild ride as I am. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on the freshest Hollywood tea I'm serving up.